We begin this afternoon at the Naro Space Center in Kohung, South Korea, where the country's very own Nuri Space Rocket is waiting for its final call before it embarks on a thrilling voyage into space for the third time tonight. Let's cross over to our Shin Sebyeok at the Space Center. Hello there, Sebyeok. Good afternoon, Dami. Sebyeok, so how are things looking there ahead of the groundbreaking mission? Well, South Korea will take another great step into the space exploration world in about like six and a half hours from now. Currently, the tentative launch time has been set for 6.24 p.m. Korea time, and that is when South Korea's homegrown rocket, the Nuri, will embark on an 18-minute, 58-second journey into orbit around 550 kilometers above the Earth. Early in the morning yesterday, Nuri was erected upright at the launch pad, and as of 9.14 p.m. yesterday, officials have completed their pre-launch checks. Also, the launch management committee said the liftoff can proceed as scheduled after assessing the weather and other factors. The liftoff, which will be Nuri's third, is likely to take place at 6.24 p.m. today, but the time could change. The thing is, besides technical factors, the weather is also a major influence that could decide the fate of the launch. While cloudy or rainy conditions wouldn't be a problem, but gusts and lightning could be. And that's because strong winds can disrupt a rocket that's racing through the atmosphere and lining can cause electronic components to malfunction. Well, as I said earlier, the committee has already given the launch the green light, but the final call should be made by 2 p.m. today. And it's possible that the actual launch could take place 30 minutes before or after the planned liftoff time, depending on the weather conditions. That's great. Sebyeok, now this is Nudi's third launch. The first and second launches were in 2021 and last year, respectively. Then what makes today's launch different from the last two? Well, I mean, there, there are mainly two main differences in here. The first one would be this will mark South Korea's first launch of commercial grade satellites because in the first and the second round of launches, only the dummy and performance verification satellites were carried. But this time, a total of eight satellites will be sent into orbit. And those satellites will conduct a variety of tasks, including ground observation and constellation missions. The second major difference is the participation of a private company in the project. Hama Aerospace, the nation's leading aerospace company, has been given access to key technology from Kari and a so-called technology transfer for the company's involvement in today's launch and three future launches. And this is part of a government scheme to nurture the new space field in order to create a self-sustaining space industrial ecosystem. It indeed sounds so exciting. Now, South Korea is certainly eager for a great leap forward in the space industry, but there could be variables in the way, right? Like the weather, like you mentioned. But what happens if there is a delay like the last time? What happens next? Well, in the case that the launch doesn't happen today, a backup date for the next trial has been set some time uh, between the 25th and the 31st, and the time should be the same. But as I told you before, the weather is super nice, no gusts or lightning in the forecast. So in terms of weather, there shouldn't be too much of a concern. Now back to you, Dami. All right. The final calls for the launch will be made in the coming hours. So fingers crossed for that launch. Thank you, Sebyeok.